Hi everyone and welcome to today's video which is all about money saving tips. So if you haven't already seen my budget tips, um, which I will link in the video here, so go watch that first, um, I kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit on ways that you can save money. Um, so I only have a few tips here, so hopefully this isn't too much of a long video for you, but um, yeah. Let's get straight into it. So my first tip is all about side hustles. Um, I speak about this in my budget tips video as well, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit more here. So side hustles are just gonna earn you that little bit more money. So obviously you got your day job, you earn your money from that, but you just need that little bit more money. So my side, side hustle has always been uh, working on the market. I'm a market girl through and through. I've grown up on the market. My grandparent, my dad grew up on the market. It's my grandparents that started it. So that's always been my side hustle. For Craig, it's rugby. Uh, he does part-time rugby, so he does rugby um, when, uh, I think it's Tuesday, it changes. It's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then has a game on Saturday, and he gets paid for this as well. So um, that's our side hustles. But you, there are so many side hustles out there. Um, you can do dog walking, babysitting, uh, dog sitting and um, there's so many different things out there you could try uh, the app task rabbit and basically this app just um has you can basically list yourself on there and you can do little bits and pieces for for people that need that help so maybe someone needs uh, a shelf putting up or to clear their garage or to do their laundry or stuff like this they'll advertise that on task rabbit and then you can um, go and do that for a fee for them. So there's loads of different side hustles out there. So just go and check them out and this will just earn you that little bit more money. And with that money, you can put into savings. Okay, number two is to sell old items. Um, I think we all have items that we just don't need and we can just get rid of. But instead of just throwing them away, um, sell them there are loads of apps out there so depop is a good one for clothes um but my personal favorite is facebook market now over the last six months we that we've actually earned a lot of money from facebook market and um, we've sold some wardrobes we've sold some garden pieces we've sold some shelves um we've sold a lot of our old wedding stuff all on facebook market and it's so easy so set yourself up on there it's completely free you kind of put your location in put how much the item is with a little description and picture and then literally it's open to anyone in that area they can check it out um, and they will come and get it themselves and pay you for it so it's it's just a really easy way now sometimes people are a bit difficult on Facebook market um, but it's really good if you do want to get rid of some like larger items, maybe some furniture. Furniture is a great, uh, Facebook market is a great way to sell old furniture. Number three, we all do online shopping. Um, and if you're going to do online shopping, then you might as well sign up to Top Cashback. Top Cashback is a website that you can go on and through it, if you buy something off of a site, it will then give you a little bit of cashback money uh, into your account. So, for example, uh, you go onto the website Top Cashback, search up, let's say, Boohoo, um, click the uh, website link, you go through to that and then you just do your shopping as normal. And then if you buy anything, then you just get a little bit of money back from it. Um, honestly, I don't know how this works, but um, it's a good way to just get a little bit of money. If you're gonna spend, you might as well get a little bit of money back from it. Number four is to use codes if you're doing online spending as well. Well, not just online spending, when you're out in the shops. You know, pick up coupon codes. Um, I always get um, a lot of my white company stuff. I, Because I've signed up to their newsletter, we get codes that come through the door and I use those. I get 15% off um, everything in the store pretty much and I do this to buy my um, soaps and my candles and so on. So use codes there are also other websites out there that will just solely give you the information on what codes are out there at that particular time so i use um hotukdeals.com um, and you can go on this and it'll just tell you you know type in white company and it will tell you if they've got any 
uh, discount codes on at the moment because sometimes they are easy to miss. Um, and another one is vouchercodes.co.uk. And it's just the same thing. You just type in, you know, and if you can save that little bit of money, then why not? This saves you that little bit of money if you're going to do your shopping anyway. But of course, number five, which is probably the most self-explanatory, is to just cut your spending. If you're trying to save, then cut your spending. I know it's easier said than done, but this is going to help you save the most. So, you know, if you're someone that goes out for dinners every week, maybe do it every two weeks or once a month or you know or maybe have people come over and have dinners rather than going out and spending loads of money um as well as you know if you're someone that shops every every month on every payday maybe try and reel it in a little reel it in a little bit um again easier said than done but this is going to help you save so there you go that's the plain fact of it Okay, so I hope this video helped some of you if you're trying to save and wanted some tips. Um, if this video did help you, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll also leave my Instagram link so that you can follow me over there. And I regularly update on Instagram stories so um, you can follow what I do on a day-to-day -day basis over there. Um, and yeah, I will link any of the other videos that I've mentioned down in the description box. So, I think that's everything. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.